been good, I think. Good conditioning day. Uh, got to play the way we're looking forward to playing. And it'll be a good uh, film session for Saturday. You uh, spoke yesterday about studying some of the things that need improving and drills that apply to that. How, how do you improve the three-point shooting from last year? I think our biggest thing was uh, lack of spacing at times. Uh, you know, not get to the correct spots, uh, which draws the crowd, and you're shooting more contested shots than uncontested. Uh, that's one of the biggest things, and then playing with a certain amount of pace that can get you to some of those shots. And um, we showed a ton of that, saw a ton of that in the offseason. And, uh, and our, our spacing is a big thing, though. You know, operating off Alperin, who's the guy who gets double teamed a lot, you should be getting a lot more open looks. And so try to clean up our spacing. You seem to be happy with the toughness of your young guys. They seem to be willing to strap it up last year. Do you think Green fits that mold, or are your thoughts of him in that respect? Yeah, I think he's had that. We saw that pretty early, even at Kentucky. But, um, you know, a guy that's smart and tough, you know, it was a great combination. So, um, you know, you don't get to where he's at, that high of a draft pick or the success he's had in uh, Kentucky without you know, being tough minded and physically tough. And, you know, guys are going to go at him, but um, he's always had that edge to him. So, Adams has had a large impact pretty much everywhere he's been in his career so far. Obviously, he's going to be off the bench behind Alford here. Has there been any thought going into potentially having some double tape lineups and something you did in the past in Boston with Al Wilford and Rob Williams? Is that something you've experimented with and walked with going We've talked about it and we've looked at it. Um, you know, with our depth, we can go a lot of several different ways, but um, at the same time, when you do go double big, you like to one of those be a shooting big, so to speak. And if we can get to that, then that's a possibility. But, um, you know, it also takes away from a lot of our wings and, and the depth we have that, you know, multiple multi-position players that can play the floor. So some we've discussed and looked at, but um, you, know, uh, you don't want to take away some of your strengths with some of the other guys that can't play the floor. How far away is Alperin's shot from maybe being to that point that you could comfortably have him out there as a spacing big next to Steven? It's not far. He has the touch and the shot. It's more of a mentality to look for those shots and not pass them up. Um, a lot of times he's on the perimeter. He's, he's pump faking basically nobody and they're not respecting that. They're going to make improvements. So as he continues to grow and get more confident in that, um, obviously that opens up everything for him and our team. But, um, you know, more so a mentality than an actual skill set because he has a shot. Coach, you have a, you have a roster full of guys who really get along with each other on and off the court. What are some of the off-the-court team building things they've done together? I would say the offseason, you know, we spent some time in California and Miami together. And, um, you know, like you said, it's a tight-knit group. Uh, all. Before, before you had the veterans, a bunch of young guys that really live near each other, hang out together, uh, spend time and do a lot of things off court. But um, for us, it's um, you know we'll, we'll get together as much as we can, team dinners and those things. But I think the off season, the guys being in the gym together, whether it was here or, or out of out of the city, uh, was valuable for us. Kind of following up on the kind of following up on the depth at the center position. Jabari played a lot of center towards the end of last year. Uh, with the injury to Alpi. Uh, is there a chance we still see Jabari play some five this season? It's possible. I mean, when we want to go to certain coverages, um, certain personnel makes that more, you know, more easy to do. But, you know, we do have three very qualified centers, obviously, with Steven and Jock behind Alpi. Um, you know, Jeff played a ton of backup small ball five last year. So, you know, Alfred, I'm sorry, Jabari with the injury and, and Jeff most of the year could do that and gives us more switchable lineups. But uh, we also like some of the things that the true big spring, which is the rebounding and screening, um, you know, some of those different threats. Dylan has said McCown wants to play a little differently this year, especially defensively, but like officials were tough thing for him. Do you want to see him do anything different this year? I mean, he is who he is, and I think, um, you know, we saw a benefit of the league kind of being a little less um, more lenient with the foul calls toward the end of the season. I think it, it benefited our team in general, and specifically a guy like Dylan. It was a very physical defender, and so, um, you know, for us, he's doing some different things than in the past. we not just keeping matchups, but switching and doing things on and off ball. So for him, it may not be as comfortable at times, but um, he, he adjusted and adapted well to that. But I would say more so than anything, he wanted to keep his physicality and his mentality and who he is. And um, when they stopped calling as many fouls the second half of the season, I think it benefited him. Are there any guys that have jumped out at you as showing improvement as shooters, either in the workouts over the summer or in these three days? Anybody that has seemed to have made strides in the season? Yeah, I think a lot of our guys, I mean, you didn't see Tari a ton last year, but he's a guy that, um, like I said, you don't have to call a ton of plays for. He finds the spots and he's, he's been shooting it well. 
Jabari just with his release, uh, quickness, being able to shoot off the move and not just be spot up has really improved there. And I think just guys in general, shot selection is going to be a big thing. And I've talked about recognition with whether it's Cam, Jay, or and different guys, uh, you know, be ready to shoot the team's guard in a specific way. And so you want to see improvement across the board with your team. And I think uh, I'm in shot, shot looks much smoother as well. It's, it sounds like what you were saying before is it's not the shot, it's actually the ball movement and other things before the shot that will improve the shooting. Yeah, I mean, preparation is a big thing, knowing where you're going to get your shots from. And uh, as I mentioned, with Alfie in the post, getting double teamed or Fred, you know, the guy that's always probing and looking for guys, uh, getting to his face is a big thing, but um, it's almost more so shot recognition than the actual shooting. And so you're taking a lot of tough contested shots. I mean, your, your percentage is gonna go, naturally going to go down. And so. Um, I think cleaning that up, which we did some last year and we're going to continue to do this year, will make everybody's numbers go up. Thank you. It seems like Steven's already being super vocal. What have you seen from him on that front? Yeah, so that's an understatement. He's, <laughs> he's talking the whole time, whether it's you know encouraging or trying to discourage guys. And so um, he's great. I mean, he's another veteran voice to the group and um, someone who's been around and seen a lot of things. And so that only benefits everybody. But yeah, he's doing a lot of coaching on the court, pulling guys aside, but also talking in the middle of games as well on the competitive side. So um, we'll take it.